Design for Assembly version 10 gives you the ability to create your own custom tabular reports. From the results menu, I can select the tabular reports option and I can select to create a new report. When I do that, I can choose which analysis in this file I want to pick it for. So I'm going to pick Motor Original. And here I'm presented with a dialog box where I can put in the data to build up my report. So I'm going to call this report Min Parts and Notes. And as I expand this box to the left, it'll show me the available columns. So I can pick here which ones I want to see. So I want the name to be one of them. I want the total count. I want the minimum items. And I want my notes. And that could be all I want to see in this report. And so if I say OK, the software will create that report type for me and show it to me here in a print preview mode. This report type is now saved in my version of Design for Assembly and available for any future analyses that I do. And so if I were to close this window and select this motor redesign now and go to the results menu, pick tabular reports, you can see here I have a choice of creating a new one or selecting the min parts and notes report that we just created. If I choose that and pick motor redesign and say OK, it'll run that same report based on the redesign motor analysis instead of the original analysis that we had done it for initially. Should I open up a new file, this report would still be available to me for any new file that I create or any file that I open from this point forward.